hi guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing well yes it has been a little while probably over two weeks now but hey we have things to do you know youtube is not life but um i'm here to show you my final grenada video uh, I think this is overdue. I wanted to show you guys the chocolate factory and then when we went to Fort Frederick, that was actually this is what's going to complete my Grenada uh, tour, my Grenada video and um, I'm going to bring it to you. No delays. We're going to get straight into it. So enjoy the Belmont chocolate factory. That's where we went. And then we went over to Fort Frederick and it's a beautiful fort. We went all the way up. You can see St. George's overlooking St. George's and a few other places, but it's a beautiful view, especially St. George's because that's the capital and it was made for the show. It's a beautiful scenery. It You can just stand there and watch it all day. So let's get straight into this video. Yeah, yeah. white tea oh, and this our this this white tea. What is it? No, I think it's this. Yeah. Yeah. So this is um, not made. Uh, What's this again? Mm -hmm. I can't remember the name of that. This is Noni. Noni? Noni. Well, we call it Noni. What's Noni? Noni? In Guyana. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, uh, Gooseberry. Is that the fruit? Which one? Yeah. This is sour damper. Yeah. Yeah. So we call it gooseberry. <laughs> I don't know yeah. what it's called. Yeah, it is gooseberry. Yeah. Ginger. Sour damper and ginger. What's this one? Five finger star fruit. Star fruit. Yeah. Star fruit. Star fruit. Star, yeah. And this yeah. one? I don't know. This looks similar to the five finger. Coconut. This one is like sour gospel. Okay. This is lime. This is cashew. Well, I. That's wax I think wax what apple. do they call it? Wax, wax apple. apple. Wax apple. Yeah. 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 This is noni. No, we no, don't have that. Yeah. We have pomerac. No. This is something they use for a dye. Yeah. I just oh, saw it yesterday. Oh, it's really cool. Rambutan. I give it to you. I don't want it to go rambutan. Sure. Okay. Is this the nutmeg? Yeah, I think that's what I was saying. Yeah. This is um, cashew. Yes. This is, no, I think no. no. This is the wax. The wax. That's about one. Yeah. 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 Cashew. Huh? Which is no. like a cashew. That's not this a cashew. Like a cashew. Oh. But the cashew usually has a stick in the end, doesn't it? Yeah, well, I guess you don't do the cashew. Yeah. It looks similar to that. Yeah. What is this? Yes, it's like a lemon. Yeah, it's like a lemon. And this we call sorry. Nice. Soury. My good at jar. I don't know what that is. Is this soury? Yes, soury, right. Do you know what they have here? And this is the tamarind. Yeah, yeah. tamarind. That's the tamarind. They have, um, we have, they have Brazil nuts here. Oh, they do? Yeah. This, but this is not it. Oh, so what, what is what it is? This is the cashew. The cashew nut. Yeah, this is the cashew. So it would probably grow here. Yeah. Probably. Right here. Looks like it comes off the bottom of this. Oh. Well, something like that. So they have a thing in, they have a thing in um, Jamaica called um, Aki. It's like yes, right. I think there's their, that's their national dish, right? Yeah. And what's this? Is that an almond? I don't know. I guess it's a tried. It looks like an almond that's been picked too early. Do you know what that is? Is it an almond? That is whitey, we call it. Whitey? Whitey, yeah. What is Inside what? is like co um, cotton wool. That's okay. how it feels. And it has a seed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But when you put it in your mouth, it melts oh, nicely. Okay. Yeah. Well, the, the not, not mm. And this is a mango. And papaya. And I am supposing this is a orange or a lemon. Looks like an orange, but yeah. You smell it, right? You yeah. smell it? Yeah, I see another thing to the face. No, they say no, man. We got another one, yes. <laughs> You have to break that before you can see. Yes. Yeah, you gotta break it. Sense? You don't have a sense that? Good afternoon, everyone. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Good afternoon. So the name is Jason. I'll be your guide for the next few minutes. Okay. Is everybody? Yeah. And I would love to start at the stable. Yes. So good afternoon, and Paul. 
chocolate. That's it. So the part about the chocolate factory, we may not get to see that much there. Okay. But the faucet of process is okay with the chocolate. Mm -hmm. So I'll still do the talk. That's okay with everybody, right? Yeah. Nice. Processing of those beans, I'm hoping everybody is familiar. <laughs> yeah. Those are your dry cocoa with chocolate beans. We're gonna have ourselves some hot chocolate sample we call coco tea together with chocolate sample. Question photos you do at any time. Apart from the cocoa, everything else is growing here with us. Our estate is 400 acres. Is there anything on this table you're not familiar with? Th this red thing here. That. Yeah. Yeah. Ruku, okay. Ruku or anato. It's used as a dye and food coloring. Yeah. If I just take one of the seed and I do this. Oh wow. Anato or ruku. It's a dye and food color. Oh wow. All the settlers are Marinians, they use them as face painting in time of Got it, got it. That's it. Gooseberries or damson. Some people say sour cherries. Right. Oh. No. <laughs> and this is? Cashew. Cashew. Everybody is saying cashew? No. You can have a closer look, right? It is aki, which is used in Jamaica. Yes, yes, she said aki, yes, yes. Have a look, okay. Yeah. Here you so go. Anato powder. Yeah, that's why we use anato powder. So I'm, I'm wondering, can you use this? This is it. This is it, okay. So can, I this? can I buy this? Can I buy this? No. <laughs> Unfortunately, no, sorry. Right. No. This is not, this no. is not that common no, no, no. ingredient. Like this is Jamaican no. accent. A few places here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I just harvested that from parts of our field. Oh, so it is so on so seaside so almonds. It's a small one. It's a wax apple. Texture of it, wax apple. They have it in the breakfast in the hotel. Yeah. It's like a cover. It looks like a cover. Yeah. And this is? Sorry. Passion Anybody knows this? No. Sorry, we call it. So sorry, what do you use it for? Uh, achar, we put it in curries, in like curry. fish curry and so. Is that like yeah. a, is that <laughs> No. Well, we use it in pepper sauce. What do you yeah. call it? Yeah. yeah. What do you call it here? Condicia. What's it? Condicia. Condicia. Or you could say one finger, unlike starfruit, which is called five fingers. Yeah. I would say more. I it's like a fruit. fruit. It's a it's fruit. fruit. People okay. have it? Yeah, with, with salt and shrimp. pepper. Yeah. That's how we eat it, yeah. <laughs> um, the scientific name is B and B for that same fruit. Oh. Okay. Here? So is this a... Is this this a is, that's a nutmeg, isn't it? Yeah. nutmeg. Yeah. <laughs> and then how would you call the red bit around the nutmeg? Mace. Mace. So then how would you call this bit that I just picked up? The fruit, I will go to not make the fruit itself, which is this. Okay. And comes out from the side of the shell. Mm -hmm. Accidentally, a lot of people is grating on the shells. The shells we use as pavement. This bit, I would call the part of the apricot. So not make syrup, jam, jelly, juice is made from this. Nice. And, not not and in here, is it uh, <coughs> white? Seeds? White and pulpy. So you yeah. call this poidou or sweet peas. Yeah. And we call it white tea. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so this is an orange or a lemon? So you do it What's it? Bitter one. Civil orange. Oh, okay. Or you just, you just oh, have it, right? Yeah, we just have it. Yeah. So is it like a, a family of um, tamarind? Probably. No. No, 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 no it's no. totally opposite. It's yeah, it's sweet. Oh, okay. Yeah. There are some sweet tamarinds as well, right? Yes, there are some sweet tamarinds, tamarinds as well. Yeah. There's yeah, yeah, yeah they do. Sour, but I don't think they. They, <laughs> they, they don't. No. It be like a piece. <laughs> yeah. Tell me the name of the Ruku. 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 I would like to get some of this to take back and this is ginger. Ginger. This is fresh. This is fresh. Not yeah, the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Limes, mango, huh? sugarcane, pineapple. Yes. That's what you can get in London. Lemon? No, grapefruit. Grape or breakfast? Grape. Grape. Never seen it before. And this one? Sapodilla. Look like. Sapodilla. It is a tree. Mommy apple? Mommy apple. We have a mommy apple down here as well. This is different. They look alike. Sapodilla, I don't know. Sapodilla? Yeah. Sapodilla. 
Oh, saffron. And this is using cakes and ice cream as an essence. So you really? Just eat and you're great. It's not the sapodilla. We do it's have It's not. Sapodilla. Okay, okay. It's not like a local apple. Yeah, inside is a bit orange as well. But mommy apple would be a bit orange inside as well. And we have all what was mentioned here as well. What do you call this, sir? Noni. 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 What do you use it for? Cleanser, no. detox. Okay. Grapefruit. Not shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Sometimes we call it different yeah. names. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. What color? What color? What color? What color? Well, there are different types of grapefruit. Yeah. Okay. You can have brown, you got a pink, pink one. Yeah. Yes. Is the pink on the inside? Yeah. This one I'm not too sure, but we have different types as well. We call the pink one. Yeah. 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 I would love yeah. to. So you all did very well on this table. Oh, what, what's this here? Do? Lemon, I don't know. It <laughs> looks like. It looks like. So I just, you know, have a it's this like is a. Using cakes, ice cream, and sacred palace. It's like a. Candles, pop It's a key ingredient in citronella. Lemon, you see? No, no, no. It smells like, well. like tangerine lemon, something in the citrus area. Citrus, citrus area, yeah. Smell it, smell it. So, what goes for? This one. What's this one? Bergamot. Bergamot. Oh, great tea. and Sacrocala, and that would be the main ingredient is, for it. Yes, that is exactly what I'm smelling here. Yes, in Sacrocala. It's in that. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. If we advance over to this side, I would love to go a little bit more. Okay. About coconut. You go to a tree, you would find them starting as tiny flower. That flower you could find it's it so almost well, anywhere on not right. stem yeah. branches. Yeah. Takes roughly four or five months from flower stage to be fully grown. Cocoa produce year round. Peak or high season for cocoa is November to April. We're not in season. Which leads me to a quiz for you all now. What would indicate to us, the farmers, when they're ready for harvesting? How would they know? Color? Have any idea what color would it be? Red. That color. Red they could start, no? I think it's... Like a yellow. Yellow. Orange. Yellow would be okay to get away. Okay. What? Uh, orange. So they start red, they start green, they could even start purple. You need wow. to go yellow or orange to be harvested. And you don't harvest that time, they remain on the tree and rot. So we get brown ones, black ones, it's too late. Yeah. Harvesting of cocoa in Grenada, back then, today, is still done very similar, manually. With the use of this tool, I'm guessing everyone is quite familiar. We just withdraw a little bit. Long bamboo pole, sharp man. So like in this photo, this is harvesting back then. Still done today. We harvest, we don't catch them, we allow them to drop to the floor. Farmers collect and heap. Use what we call cut glass and bus open. If you have your camera, this is what yeah, color truly it. looks like yeah. first hand. Yeah. For me, I would say more like garlic yeah, or brain. Sorry. And then you, have to, brain. Yeah. then you have to try that. I would love for you all to. Young lady at the back, you. I got it? So now I want you all to try. So go ahead, pull one up. You're not I sure? Said, eat. Pull one up. Uh, just suck on it. Just suck on it. Yeah. We'd like to know what it tastes like. For me, I go with citrus. You good? You good? Only suck on it, right? Citrus for me. What about peach? Lychee. 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 Mango steen. 
tastes like light cheese. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anything like chocolate? Mm. No. Don't Nothing. Bite it, suck it. And it's. Did you bite it? No, he said suck it. It's yes, yeah, suck it. It's, I'm sucking. It's like light cheese. Yeah. Don't bite mm. it. Mm. Mm. But it's um tiny. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It tastes horrible. No, it tastes bad. No. It's a seed, it's a seed. What's the seed inside? Anything like chocolate? Nothing. Oh. What I would love for y'all to do now with it, let's give it skin ups, we say chin ups, skin ups. Give it one straight bite down the middle. I just did. Let's have a look. They don't taste it should <laughs> bite up. They should be more purple. Is yeah. it purple on the inside? Yeah. No, what do you know? Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. Mm. It's called nip. N I B nips. Hello. This is fine this in your grocery. Nip is what's going to be used for making the actual chocolate. Mm. At that stage, they would be intense. Mm-hmm. Also, at Where did it spill out? It's a little bush there. If you can. Destroy what is called your bean or your seed. I want to grow myself a tree, I take another one. I would have to wash off that white juicy pulp. And then I plant. Four or five years, fully grown purple tree. They carry lifespan like 50 more years. And cocoa is not native to Grenada, originated in the Amazon, brought here in the 1740s. We're making chocolate, just what you suck on will be transported with basket or bags like what's all the way at the back with all the white juicy pulp on there the part the shell 100 percent degradable that remains in the field so just what you suck down we transport Sutting on this table record the weight the farmers get paid and the beans are placed in any one of those boxes they're called sweat or fermented boxes boss process fermentation we're not in season, there is no cocoa in that process, but I would love to explain. I put them directly on the board. Notice there is board at the bottom, right? Yeah. Then I need to cover with green banana leaves first. How would you call those bags? Crocus bags. Crocus, burlap, hessian, duta, jute. Hessian. Locally. Right. So process, all natural, truly start when yeast, natural yeast would convert the sugar and the same white pulp you suck on into alcohol. Bacteria would come in and have that break into lactic and acetic acid. Hence your chocolate color and flavor in there within six days. All six natural, days. Six, yeah. days. Wow. six days is ideal for dark chocolate making. This wow. is what we do here. You could ferment longer, nine or more, longer you ferment, the sweeter they get. That would be a plus for your milk or white chocolate making. Any bean here full to the max, which would be this high, it will be simply adding both like this, get up to that height. Have ourselves 6,000 pounds of cocoa, what you say, three ton. Within that six days, every two days, they would use shovel and move them from one bin to another. And when they do, the dates are recorded right next to you. Any question on that process? That's just the six day. Six Every days. day gets moved. And while turning, you don't have to go in sequence like one to three down the road. You can just go back foot, back foot with this. Oh, yeah. If you have like this little bit, could be turned up in the same bin. Okay. Mm. But I, okay. Sorry? I was going to say something about seeing it in St. Lucia, but I'm waiting for you to say what happens after you do that. After you do this. Yeah. yeah. So what you could recall from St. Lucia? What comes next? When you put it under the sun. To dry. To dry. To dry. <laughs> and it, it's like wooden trays on the outside. Here we go. Well, I just hold it back a lot. Let's have a look inside. Okay.
Okay. It comes all the way out. Wow. Six days inside. Fermented Six compost days. should be looking like this. Oh. Have them placed outside to dry using the natural element of the wet. This is our old system for drying. We still use. The new system for drying is in this glass house. Again, we're no longer in season. Not much cocoa is here. There's none in the new system. Oh. Out here, new system? Outside, five to eight days, but depend on the condition of the weather. Good condition out here could be reduced to four or five in there. Okay. Outside, no problem with birds, insects. They don't like keep away from it. Need to be dried to 7.5 moisture content that would be tested. Also, once drying in the old system, mainly the ladies, and if any of you are like, feel free to try. They come out here every half an hour. They're going to remove shoes, socks, and get stop. into the tray and walk. There goes an opportunity for a free foot massage, my lady from Barbados. Ah. Want to give it a try? <laughs> no, no, no. If you wish. Wanna come forward? Yeah, I want to. You, you want to do it? it? She's gonna do it. She's no, not by my son. That's what they do with grapes as well. Just walk and over. Let me hold your back. Let me hold your back. Expose them to the sunlight. They dry evenly. It also yeah. tends to single and separate what might just be stick together. What do you want with my? So just walk on this. Take not off. On it, no, true. true. Like drag oh. true it. Yeah. True. Okay, I, try? I, I won't do it. No. Chocolate fit, free foot massage. No, Sleep I would love this. to do it, but. My feet probably smell. <laughs> they, they stay in protected shell, so they're good, right? You want to try? <laughs> go ahead, do it. I'll I, hold your, I'll hold your thing. No, I'm going to walk through it and okay, video okay. As, I, as I go through it. We don't, we don't grow cocoa. Okay, all right. I tried it with very, very good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just shuffle through it, sorry. Okay. Just shuffle. You call it cocoa. Yeah, that's what they do with the grapes. Yeah. 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 I've seen a ball. You might have a job here as well. Yeah. So this Does it is feel good? We have an hour once the trays are outside, so right? It's like shuffling it or something. Just shuffling. stirring it around. Turning around, singling and separating what might be stick together. Someone oh, mentioned I dancing of the cocoa, it. right? We used to do the dancing, no more today, oh, due to we no longer exporting nice. our raw material. <laughs> it's the pebbles. Do it again. Anybody else wish to try? Do it again. Do it again. I had repairs being done to the majority of the trays. How old do you think of the rails you're standing on? Old. 50, we are approaching 50 year independence next year. Yeah, I know. 50 years, we are we're already working on that. 100? Yeah. Yeah. I think this wood has been around for a long time. The most recent update with this is here, it's cement, right? What's holding those stones are white lines. That was good. good. <laughs> I will go in the 1780s and one not for cocoa. This was constructed for coffee. Uh-huh. Our estate started in the late 1600s. We had coffee, cotton, sugarcane and bananas, oh. cocoa and nutmeg together, Hurricane Ivan in 2004. Why switched that up a bit. Yeah. Cocoa and nutmeg together, Grenada was known for nutmeg. Mm. Used to be the second largest exporters. Cocoa is four or five years, nutmeg is 10 or more. I would love for y'all to grab one of this also and crack open. After you've been standing on it. <laughs> nice clean protective but I was shells. shuffling through it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So grab yourself one that is a bit swollen or wrong, right? I want to the ask flat you. ones would be a bit difficult. You said that. And when you do get it to break, I want you to compare the color of the nib. Is it still purple or getting closer to chocolate? Well, look, I, I just got to try to even try. avoid nuts. <laughs> <laughs> try that. Yeah, okay. so try cra oh, cracking into that one. You want to try that one? Open it out. You can taste it's like dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. Nice. Good, right? Mm -hmm. 
It's like a it's like a raisin, like a, like a hard raisin in a sense. Yeah. What's it like compared to Saint on the floor. The weather is not the best, so I'm just gonna have this go back inside yeah. one time. He managed to purchase here in the year 1944 and paid a sum of 35,000 pounds for this 400 acres. To date, the estate remains in his family. The estate is run and operating now by his great granddaughter. All what's wow. in here was saved or rescued from his house. Oh. On our way up to the fact. Stavas, is it okay to go in up there now? Eh? Do you still like to see the battery, although it's not up and down? They're gonna put their camera right there. We got light, don't worry. You wanna see still? Sure. Alright. Right. They're gonna put their camera How you call it? So we, we, we can go have a look if you like. It's not at its best due to the power failure. Oh. What's over there? So that's office. office. Restaurant is about. Okay. Right. That's where we came from, right? Yeah. Uh, more people going inside. Oh. Are you sure? Are they had lunch already? Yeah. <laughs> just a seat. Okay. Have a look if you like it. Okay. They sell any chocolate? Yeah, they sell them there as well. What's that? They sell the chocolates yeah. there as well. She's able to sample as well, but it's not at its best. See all the chocolates are standing outside. The chocolates. Yes, I like that. <laughs> Probably more. <laughs> <laughs> Loads more than you're paying for here in trees, not just this acreage that I'm paying for. True, true. And then you pay for the building that this has got to be. Ah, this one fully air conditioned. Mm -hmm. Let's get the floodlights rolling, bro. Yeah. Oh. I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate factory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then I uh, like can watch for you to stand here and see inside the cocoa balls. Cocoa balls. That's the cocoa balls. Hot chocolate. <laughs> This is actually oil, oil down, as yeah. in this so one. We wow! Do, we do have the chocolate replica <laughs> for a national dish. Yeah, oil down. <laughs> So I do have samples which would be over to that side as soon as the table clears up a bit. You can step over and try. We have our 74% dark as our eyes. We do a 74% dark with sea salt. A dark spice, 60% with ginger and cinnamon. We do a 60 ml. We do a 60 ml with four spices, it's called pure grenada, cinnamon, ginger, mace, nutmeg. The replica of grenada national dish, a nylon chocolate. We should have the white ones. My personal favorite, white with nibs. Caramel. Sure. So well, the thing is, what do you do out of season? Out of season, the thing is, the estate is 400 acres and not solely cocoa. You should oh, cocoa tea. Mm. Cocoa tea. Oh. It smells so nice. Mm. 
How is it? Mm. It's good. Yeah. Lovely. It's like hot chocolate. Yeah. But it smells. Can you smell it? So in that drink, um, most of you would say hot chocolate. We call this drink cocoa tea. Cocoa is raw material. Milk is added. Sugar is added. I have three spices in there. I would love to know. Nutmeg. Nutmeg is one. If I want to use product from nutmeg, it would be that of the red coating, the mace. Could be used, but not in there. Cinnamon. Main one, cinnamon. To get away. There is one that you would use in your savory, like your stew, your soup, your meat, your pasta. You wouldn't look for it in that drink. Really? And the last one in that drink is on that table. We did a while ago. <laughs> so we already had cinnamon, we already had bay leaf. The last spice for that drink is on that table. The oh, one who spice. comes up with that answer, I have a special treat for you when we get to the pantry. Ginger? Ginger, no. Don't tell me if it's citronella. <laughs> What's it? The citronella thingy. The citronella thingy. Which is the citronella thingy? <laughs> <laughs> the the one that it is, it is the bergamot, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's bergamot. It is the bergamot. Yeah. So boiling water with those three spices, we drop the cocoa ball in there. I'm guessing everyone is familiar with cocoa ball, right? Yeah. Dominican and Lucia, I don't think they do ball, they do sticks. Roll theirs into sticks. Yeah. Um, we need that we make little balls like lime. No, I don't know that one. Cinnamon, bay leaf, bourbon. Oh. Yeah. Mace could be used. So I got me a bean. If you wish for me, I can dispose for you. Okay. Oh, no rush, no rush, sorry. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I shot it. Let me just Yeah, <laughs> you shot it. <laughs> Yeah. And, and the waterfront yeah. area. We're right? all the morning. Waterfront, yeah. 
Yeah. We were all warning. He's the one who was vocal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he, he, he was the chairman yesterday. He was the one who was vocal. Sure, for sure. Yeah. 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 Get any couple take you back, but that you just see the shorter road, the same road, and you could fly to get back. Yes. <laughs> you see the roads in gray, not just flat. They're very dry, hilly and very wide. Hilly. Yeah. 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 yeah much so better. Sunshine today. Finally, we passed the two, we passed the work as well. On our way back, I swing around to St. George on the way back. Yeah, yeah, we broke car, we broke stag, and we broke Yeah, but you don't have your own beer. Yeah, but you don't have your own beer. Stag, 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 so here we are at Fort Frederick and we're going to go a bit higher so you can see St. George's. It's beautiful from that view all the way up. You will see how beautiful it looks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> it is. What is this place? I'm sorry? What is this? Oh, it's a port. It's a port. It's a port. Yeah. Port. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we passed there yesterday. That yeah, we went up that yeah. road, uh, up the middle. You can see the height. Yeah. Huh? Okay. We went up that side. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got to this one. My friends, because of the battle between the French and the British, they were fighting for these colonies left, right, and center. This fort is known, but well, these forts are known as backward facing forts. In 1779, the French tricked the British into a clever maneuver. Rather than attack Fort George and St. 
George Tong from Seawater. French Admiral D.S. Stang landed his men a mile north along that point where the British cannot see him. He must send his troops into the interior and he attacked the British from the rear from the back over Hospital Hill. Mm. So the British had all the cannons based in Seawater. They capulted. They had to surrender. So the French learned to listen. When you land from the British, they start building these four forts and they are known as backward facing forts. They put the cannons facing inland <laughs> rather than seaward because in those days a cannon now reach from here to the ocean as you can tell the distance. Mm -hmm. So they're all known as backward. You can look, you can see where the ports are. They were facing inland. So in case the British come from the mountains, uh -huh. they're waiting for them, they're ready for them. So that was Matthew, the last of the forts, Frederick. Adolphus and Lucas, the other two, fortunately, unfortunately, we didn't save them to build homes on the site over those years. So Matthew was named after the second son of King George. Uh, Frederick was named after his tent or whatever, but he had a lot of children too as well. He was a busy man, he had about 16 children, <laughs> yeah. He was wow. a wayward, wayward king. The ruins you're seeing on that big fort, many years ago, was converted into a mental hospital. Oh. And when the war came in 1983, the Americans. Oh, oh. I can imagine. Right West, there, bro. Right there, the sunset. Yeah. You get a wicked um, uh, sun, sunset going on there. Wow. Yeah. This is nice. So I realized when you said import, yeah, I said so. So it's a better house out here. You know, you go very well. Water is so green. It's so nice. Okay. 
Hi guys, good morning. So after four lovely days on the island of Grenada, we are now leaving to get back home to Guyana. And it has been a beautiful stay. I love the resort, I love the beach. Um, it's a very small island, but um, it's worth it. And it, I can't wait to come back here again very soon. So we um, we departed from Chattajagan International Airport and we will be arriving at the Ogle Airport in Guyana. So it's six o'clock right now and we have, uh, we're leaving the, the airport here at 6.45 to get to the airport. Sorry, we're leaving the hotel at 6.45 to get to the airport. Our flight is 8.00. 55 and then we are going to be in Guyana at uh, almost 12 because we have to in transit in Trinidad and um, that's gonna probably be an hour or something and then over to Guyana but um, like I said it was a beautiful stay I, I met some really great people okay I'm needed all right hi morning yes 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 it's so nice meeting you yes. same to you hello morning same Between this hotel and the other hotel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just put down the seat. Push on the seat. Yeah. Push on the other one.
So guys, home sweet home to Guyana. We are here at the Eugene F. Correa International Airport. This is on the east coast of Demerara and we just came out. We got all our bags and we're ready to head home to the west coast of Demerara um, from east to west. Yes, it was lovely. The uh, Grenada is a beautiful country and I hope you get some time to um, visit it and enjoy what it has to offer. It was a pleasure showing you this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And comment below, of course. I hope you enjoyed the chocolate factory, Belmont Chocolate Factory that I went. You saw what was happening there. Sorry about the electricity, though. Due to the little storm they had, there was um, they took the power off. Um, that's just for safety reasons. But um, we went there and then we went to Fort Frederick. You saw Fort Frederick. You saw how beautiful uh, St. George's look on top of Fort Frederick when you're looking over. It is amazing. It's an amazing view. And the tour guide, he explained a little on why it was called backwards facing fort. Even go Google it and read it up why it was called that. So it was a pleasure, like I said, showing you that. And it's my final Grenada video. Of course, when I go again, I will be putting up more videos. But this is it for now. Take care and I will see you in the next one. Bye.